I'm Jake Thune Payne. I'm so glad you made it. This is Things You Might Ought to Know for Friday, September 13th, 2024. We use the other show to talk about news and important things and all the stuff like that. This is the fun stuff. This is fun things, and we want you to enjoy the fun with us as well. We always begin the fun stuff. We're birthdays, and we have that in spades today. But I uh, want to remind you that if you want to see more about what we do in all aspects, news-wise and whatnot, check out our website, This is a conversation project.com. Now, that picture you see if you're watching the video of this thing, it is one Mr. Randy Jones. Why is he good for the day? Why is he awesome today? It's his birthday. Why should you care? He, he, he is the cowboy from the village people. So, yes, love for the village people and love specifically for Randy Jones on this day, hitting 72 years old on this day. Now, I would contend that YMCA is the perennial dance song from all the parties, yada, yada. But I will say that Macho Man and then even topping that one in the Navy, two better songs than YMCA. That's just me. Those are hills I will die on. By the way, Tyler Perry, 55 years old on the day. Didn't realize that we were so close in age, so it makes me feel a little better about uh, me and my strive to do more of these things like this. A little better. Not that much better because I'm not doing as well as Tyler is, but 55 years old for the guy who started off wearing drag and plays and now is playing Alex Cross. Kind of cool. And Ben Savage, you know that guy. You love that cute little kid. Not a cute little kid. Still cute. Not a kid. 44 years old on this September 13th. Let's go to some history for the day. Um, history lesson for this day starts out in 1985 where Nintendo released the smash super hit Super Mario Brothers on this day. Hard to believe that Nintendo, the Nintendo, Nintendo, the Nintendo, the Nintendo, um, inter, the original Nintendo Interactive System, which had another name when it was ported over from um, Japan, is that old, and you are that dusty, and we no longer even blow into cartridges anymore. It's hard to believe that, but yes, Super Mario Brothers, the original Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Entertainment System, is. Awful. In 1996, Tupac Shakur died six days after being shot in Las Vegas, bringing up the beef that was a long time beef between him and um, and rapper Biggie um, Biggie Smalls. But um, the beef technically never really ended because people are still beefing over who's better, who did what to whom, and which one's actually still alive and working at the Starbucks down the street. My money's on Biggie because Tupac... I don't think he's a big coffee guy. He's probably working down at the um, the weed store. But um, Biggie's probably working at Starbucks. 1996 is the day uh, that we lost Tupac Secure in all seriousness. Um, l losing the life and legacy of a person who had a very complicated past, very interesting past. His mother was, was, was a, a civil rights leader. Um, he was a poet. He spoke for a nation. He spoke for people who didn't have voices. He spoke for people who just thought his music was cool and kind of glammed onto that one. Tupac Shakur died on this day in 1996. And some reason out of order, but 1990, the first episode of Law and Order aired in 19, on NBC in 1990. The first episode of Bong Bong, the original Law and Order happened. And that one, yes, Law and Order itself is almost 40 years old. So moving on to our word for the day. This is a chance where you can learn something and grow on something. We also promote things I do, books, because I like books. Eponymous. Eponymous. It's a word with a very long definition that's a very simple word, though. The word means to be named after something, such as a child being named after his grandfather or a mythical Romulus, Pomulus, giving his name to Rome. Although that should be an R, not a P, but we'll go with that one. In the novel, the eponymous hero embarks on a journey that tests his courage and values. That would be a novel with a name like Bob, the building warrior. And then Bob, the building warrior, would go on the quest. That's how that works there. Eponymous. It's a word that is used often in big time speakers like me and in things like, um, you know, news coverage and political stuff. Try it today on yourself and see how it works for you. You can also get more big words at the Big Words Project website, thebigwordsproject.com. And of course, you can find copies of Big Words You Ought to Know. That is a book that we put out every quarter that has vocabulary words in it. When you buy a copy of that book, you spend a dollar comes back to well the, mo the money comes to me and then i give a dollar from that money to reading programs that's how that works we also want to talk about affirmations things that make you feel good feel better feel awesome here's a good one i am proud of myself and all that i have accomplished why is this a good one it boosts self-esteem this affirmation reinforces self-worth by acknowledging your achievements 
which can significantly boost self-confidence and your self-esteem, making you more resilient against negative thoughts and self-doubt. I am proud of myself being able to switch those words around because I read them in the wrong order and still finish the sentence. Some days I can't, and I have accomplished that. I am accomplished. I also accomplished writing a full book of these things and information on how they are good for you, not just not just affirmations you can read off of. We actually give you some reasons why they actually work. Go to your Amazon or look in other bookstores online. We're at plenty of places with there. You can click the link inside of this presentation because it's there or go to your favorite bookstore and search 100 affirmations pain and get 100 day affirmations for confidence and um, for positivity and confidence. That's the name of the book. That's what it's called. And finally, every day is a celebration. So why not celebrate Fortune Cookie Day on this Friday the 13th? Why not? It's a little fun and excitement for your life. Celebrating the little biscuits that come with your Chinese food. And the little messages inside that promote good health, luck, fortune, and maybe some lottery numbers that probably won't hit. Nice assurance is something that feels good to get a fortune cookie after a meal or just get a box of fortune cookies because they're cool. Celebrate fortune cookie day and you should probably celebrate it the right way by getting actual the food to go with it. But just remember that fortune, you know, you know how it works. It's always funny when you're in a group of folks and you add the, the terms um, between the sheets and in bed. But you can't do that with the kids. You can't do that with, with the 12 year old. So we don't do that very often these days at home. But, you know, when it's just me and Christine with a K of the wife, you know, we see what happens with the fortune cookie between the sheets. And with that, we have wrapped up today's edition of Things You Might Ought to Know. We ask you to like, share, and subscribe what we have. Like what we're doing if you like what we're doing. Share it with other folks so they get the information and subscribe so you don't miss out on these things. Uh, we did something new today and we split up the big shows into shows. We're going to do this for a while and see how this works and see how the response goes. My overall arching thought process for the original process for the things you might want to know would be more of the fun fact stuff would really catch on and just the news would be sort of there. The news is what's catching on, but we want to do four fun facts and want to not be so long in the other stuff. So as you can see here, this only took seven minutes. When we just did the fun stuff by itself. So we're going to do the fun stuff by itself. Enjoy your Friday, September the 13th, your spooky day. Hopefully no weird serial killers go after you in your hometown and terrorize you. We're not quite there yet, but enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. And we'll see you come Monday with some more things you might not have known.